we're going up, up, up a big hill. There's the Lake Forest Park. We're crossing into Lake Forest Park. There's a newer construction home right there. And uh, yeah, we're just sort of back away from the main drag, the arterials, and up in the hills here of Lake Forest Park. So if you're not scared off by lots of evergreen trees and lots of hills, then you may have a place in Lake Forest Park. The biggest challenge tends to be shade because of the hills and the trees, depending on which direction you are, uh, you may get a lot of shade rather than a lot of good views. Not everybody has a lake view, not everybody has a view of Mount Rainier, but it is a fairly residential area. We just left um, Bothell Way, kind of the main drag going through Kenmore, Bothell, Kenmore, Lake Forest Park, Seattle. Uh, we didn't really go on that for this drive. Uh, we're kind of trying to hit the back roads so you can see what else is, is out here and kind of what it's like. Million dollar price points, you know, these are, they've gotten expensive. We have pretty good access to I-5 here. So from a commuting perspective, we're in good shape. friends who have chickens, we have chickens, and uh, there's pressure from animals like raccoons and coyotes around here. I have fruit trees, there's pressure from deer. We have seen a bobcat go through the yard. So there are certainly a lot of animals. We've had a blue heron in our pond. We have a park down the road at Grace Cole Park in Lake Forest Park that has um, beavers in it. They're building a beaver dam and the parks department has to keep coming out and clearing out the beaver dam to some extent so that they don't flood the little area that the lake is in. And then we're going to come out down here to the Lake Forest Park Town Center, which is kind of at the intersection between our two main drags. This way on the left is um, Bothell Way, which is the main thoroughfare, like I said, Bothell, Kenmore, Lake Forest Park, Seattle. And then up that way is Ballinger Way, but here we are at the Lake Forest Park Town Center. So. If you live in Lake Forest Park, this is your main retail option. They have on Sunday afternoons, they in the summer, they have a little um, farmer's market here in the parking lot by the city hall over in that area. And then they also have all these shops, some mom and pop and some big ones. So there's a Rite Aid pharmacy. There's a vacancy that used to be a photography store. There's a library in here, there's a haircut place, there's a dance studio, there's a chocolate shop, which is amazing. A new One Bite Cafe, I haven't seen that before. Nectar Juice Bar, my sister says the acai bowls are tremendous. There's Ross Dress for Less, Mud Bay, and a new home design architecture firm. That's a mom and pop where a dry cleaner used to be. Uh, this here is the Albertsons, which is our main grocery store. We have Albertsons, Safeway, QFC, Fred Meyer are the main grocery stores. There's a Mod Pizza. There's a Starbucks. So my kids like to walk down down here and sometimes they'll buy Starbucks or they'll go look for clothes at Ross Dress for Less. They're in their young teens, so I feel comfortable with them coming out, but it's not, um, you're not driving yet, so it does feel safe and it's pretty walkable if you don't mind hills. Here's another fire department. That's Buffalo Way back there. Oh, look, it says the Lake Forest Park Garden Tour and Plant Sale is coming up at the mall, which is Lake Forest Park Town Center. 
And then this is one of my favorite streets. They kind of paved it whenever they redid it. It seems like only yesterday, probably 10 or 15 years ago, to be kind of weaving back and forth. So it feels like a meandering country lane. And they've got a little sidewalk on the side, which is great for walking and biking. They have behind us uh, by Ballinger or by Bothell Way there, they have across the street they have a trail that goes around the lake i think the whole trail is maybe 26 miles or something but it's um it's called the burt gilman trail and it's paved and it's flat it used to be a railroad track so it's nice and level which is hard to find here in seattle so it's a great place to be able to um, go with your bike here's the lake forest park presbyterian church and then on the left is animal acres park which is just basically what you see is what you get it's a pretty small park there's a, a little creek in the back but this is where they do certain um like they have in the summer they'll have a tent and a band and people like doing couple of food trucks, a couple of booths on like how to protect the salmon in the creek and meet local vendors and insurance companies and stuff like that. And then just over here to the left where all these cars are coming from is the local elementary school. And that's a new construction house five, ten years ago now. This is Eagle Scout Park. It's just a little tiny pointy corner but they have um, just recently put in that playground equipment there. And then here's another just sort of shady weaving around. We've got a creek on one side. We've got tall trees blocking all the light. Kind of feel like you're going through a tunnel of trees. Steep hill on the right hand side of the road. Uh, this house looks like it's condemned probably because the, the creek got too close to it. I'm guessing we have another house like that in my neighborhood and I don't know why they can't just sell them, but this is a little bridge going over the creek that goes through people's backyards. So definitely high population density. I mean, we've got houses all over the place. Quarter acre lots and less are pretty common. Uh, so it's not your typical countryside, but the hills and the trees do lend a sense of quiet and privacy that you wouldn't necessarily get in a big flat sprawled out development. What we are missing here is like sidewalks and um, more of a sense of community because it's harder to get between the houses because if you're walking up and down these big hills. So anyway, this is Lake Forest Park. I hope that gives you a great idea of kind of the journey between Kenmore and Lake Forest Park and whether this type of a neighborhood here in North Seattle is something that, that would appeal to you. That might be the type of thing that you're looking for. And if so, I hope you'll come be my neighbor Find out more about what's involved in buying a home here in Kenmore and Lake Forest Park or anywhere in the greater Seattle area. I'll match you up with something that's a great fit for you uh, neighborhood-wise, price-wise, and house-wise. So visit me on my website, homeproassociates.com, or shoot me a message in the comments and let me know more about what you're looking for. Thanks so much for joining me and have a great day.